Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is the Carne Asada Burrito. Well today we're making something near and dear to my heart. It's grilled steak in a burrito. Like what more could you want except for maybe some guacamole? And we'll get there, but we're gonna start by pumping a bunch of flavor into our skirt steak with a marinade. All right, so we're starting with about two pounds of skirt steak today. We're gonna go right into our brineer bucket so we can get into the brining process. Now for our brine bath today, we're using the fajita bath trace chilies from Sweetwater Spice. Man, great chili flavors in this. Obviously, as the name implies, three different chilies, ancho, chipotle, and cayenne. It's an apple juice base. Now do we have to brine our meat? No, we do not. We do not have to brine our meat. We get to brine our meat. And we get to use this really great product because we have it. And if you don't, then use apple juice and chilies or whatever else you have on hand. Something with some acid, add some salt. You work from the brining and from the marinating perspective. So on that concentrate, we're going one to one from the concentrate and water. And we just wanna make sure we can get our skirts, our skirts uh, totally submerged here. We're gonna lock those in place with the plate on the briner bucket. If you got an hour, an hour's great. So while our skirt steak's soaking up all of that flavor from the marinade, we're gonna make a guacamole. So this is gonna be a really simple guacamole, just four ingredients, starting with the avocados. So these we're gonna have first, get the pit out of there, scoop the flesh out into the bowl. So I'm just gonna kinda dice these here in the skin before we take them out. So we'll just scoop the flesh out here. You always wanna make sure you have a nice ripe avocado for this. These are a bit cold because they've been in the fridge, but they are ripe so they should mash down just fine. All right, so we've got our two small avocados in here. We need about three tablespoons of cilantro, just minced down super fine. We can also use some of this in the burrito a little bit later, so I'll mince up a little extra. All right, so the next thing we're gonna add is a little bit of salsa. I like to add about the same amount of salsa as I have cilantro, so we'll call it three tablespoons of each. Some people aren't a fan of salsa in their guacamole, but I love it, so don't at me. Now we also need just a bit of acidity, so we're gonna do about a tablespoon of fresh squeezed lime juice. And the only other thing we really need is some salt. I mean, you can use any salt that you like, but I've got this great like habanero infused salt from Jacobson that's gonna go perfect for our guacamole. Just a pinch and then we start to mash. So this part's totally up to you. How fine do you like it? How coarse do you like it? I have a little tool I've made at home, which is like a bent up fork and I just smash the heck out of it. We might leave this one just a little bit more chunky to add some extra texture. All right, let's see how this tastes. Ooh, I like it. Avocado first, a little bit of that salsa next. Ooh, and I just got a little bit of heat off of that habanero salt, uh, salt that we put in there. That stuff's crazy. All right, so this we can cover up, set aside, and put it in the fridge until we're ready to make our burritos. So there's really just a handful of ingredients that are going into our burrito today. Obviously, we've got the tortilla that Chef Britt made for us. Homemade tortillas, amazing. Uh, next, we've got some cheese. We've got some Oaxaca cheese. We're also going to have that guacamole that we just made. There's the steak. And then the last thing would be some caramelized onions. So we're gonna grill some onions on the griddle today at the same time that we cook the steak. But the first thing we need to do is get that steak out of the marinade since it's been soaking for about 45 minutes to an hour now. We'll get that skirt steak seasoned up with some Mexicano and we'll head over to the griddle. All right, skirt steak's looking good. We'll wipe off some of this excess trace chilies. We just want enough to help the uh, seasoning stick to the meat, but we don't need too much on there. There we go. Now, like I said, we're gonna be seasoning our skirt steak with the Cattleman's Grill Mexicano today, which is a great taco, just general taco seasoning. I mean, anytime you're making 
some tacos or burritos or steak bowls or salads, whatever it is, this is a great go-to rub. I mean, you could use any taco rub, but this one's better. Not gonna go too heavy on the seasoning. We've got some good flavor going from that marinade, so we'll just dust the outside here. All right, so we're also gonna slice up this onion to take over to the griddle. I'm just gonna take the top and bottom off, get rid of the skin, and we'll slice this nice and thin. Well, today we're gonna to be cooking on the griddle. It's a flat top griddle surface, so we can get the maximum amount of contact for our sear on our steak, as well as the onions. It's a great tool with lots of surface area to work with, but you can totally do this on whatever griddle you have at home, whether it's just a cast iron skillet or the Yoder Smokers has the griddle that takes up half of your grill. You'll have plenty of space there as well. So we're gonna start on this side of the griddle here, kind of medium low heat. We wanna get our onions going and some oil here. We've got some of this chili infused oil that's gonna add a lot of extra flavor to our griddled onions. We'll add just a little bit of salt as well to help break these down. And since I have it out, I'm just gonna use that habanero salt from Jacobson. So same time now with a little bit higher heat on the left side of the griddle, we're gonna put down our skirt steak. It starts to get a really nice sear on the outside of this. All right, I'm starting to see some color on the onions, but they're not really softening up yet, which tells me I need to turn my heat down so I'm gonna go down to low for the onion. And one thing that'll really help to start to break everything down and warm everything up is if we close the lid. Oh, getting a nice sear on our skirt steak here. Let's flip that over and get some color on the opposite side. So the thing with skirt steak is that it can feel really tough when you're chewing on it, especially if you don't slice it quite right. You can see here that the strands of the meat are running this direction. So we're gonna chop this super fine in a 90 degree angle to that. And we wanna only take this to about medium rare. So like 125, we're gonna pull this. And that's gonna give us a great texture. As far as taking a piece of meat that's typically tough and making it really soft. So we're getting some good color on our onions here, but we need them to soften up just a little bit more. And one trick you can use is to add a little bit of liquid to start to steam these instead of just straight up griddling them. You could use water, you could use whatever you have. We got a little bit of beer here, so that's what we're gonna add. And just that steam coming off of the beer is gonna help soften those onions up. All right, everything's looking pretty good. We're gonna get a final reading on our skirt steak here. We are coming up, yep, right there, 126. Almost 127, that's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop our onions off as well. I'm catching a little bit of that beer scent on there. That'd be a nice flavor, but like I said, water, chicken stock, anything you've got just to add a little extra moisture. Well, we've given this a couple of minutes to rest here, and what we're gonna do now is just start to chop this up into fine pieces to put into our burrito. So I'm gonna start by separating this into segments. We're cutting with the grain right now. Then we're gonna turn and cut this against the grain, nice and thin. And this is what we're talking about when we say getting that illusion of a really tender piece of meat. So even though this is kind of tough, it's got a little tug to it, it falls right apart when you cut it just right.
So we'll toss that back through its juices. We don't want to waste any of that juice that's come out of the meat and then throw it back into the bowl. So now it's time to just bring it all together. We've got our steak sliced up. We've got our onions done. Our guacamole is done. I've got a little bit of Oaxaca cheese, which if we're gonna overgeneralize things, I would say this is like a Mexican mozzarella. It melts really nice. It's got great flavor. It's a little bit firm. It's gonna be perfect for the burritos that we're doing today. And then we've got Brit's tortillas. Look at those babies. They're freaking huge. You can get tortillas like this from the Mexican market or you can get them from Brit and she can show you how to make them at home. All right, so we're back to the griddle now. Everything is on low at this point. We need to warm up our tortillas because it's like 35 degrees outside. So we're just gonna place this right here on the surface. And while we're at it, we'll add some of that Oaxaca cheese to start to melt into the tortilla. I'm just gonna close up the lid here. You know what we could do is add just a little bit of steam with some beer. That'll help the cheese melt a little bit. I mean, that was just about 30 seconds, and once again, this is pliable. That's what we're going for. This cheese will continue to melt as we add our ingredients, so let's just go ahead and start to build these burritos. And throw some carne asada right in the center. Get some of those caramelized onions. Some of our guacamole. And just a little bit extra cilantro here. And the last thing that we have to have is a squeeze of lime juice to brighten everything up. So now that these are pliable, we'll just go ahead and roll them up. Perfect. We've got a crispy exterior on there. Our cheese is melting. Woo, those are hot. Let's pull them off. Boom, it goes quick. All right, let's just take one in half here so we can see what we got inside. Look at that. Warm, steaky goodness. All right, here goes. Man, there's nothing else that I want in the world except for carne asada and a burrito. Maybe with a little hot sauce. Some green aid, green aid on there. That steak is so tender. You would have no idea that you're essentially eating what some people would call a tough cut. Because there's no resistance. We cooked it just right. We sliced it just right. We added just the right ingredients. You've got texture and crunch from the outside of the burrito. You've got cheese. You've got guacamole. Everything's there. Everyone's present. Everyone's winning. Well, shout out to Chef Britt for these amazing tortillas. They're incredible. You guys got to go watch her video. Check out how to make these yourself at home so you can be as happy as I am right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoyed that recipe, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.